Hi, Bryce Cosman. Um, today I'm talking about the Glen Denim GD112 jeans right here. It's kind of just my initial thoughts on them. I've had them for uh, like two days now. So kind of just been wearing them, breaking them in. So some background here. These are my eighth pair of Raws. Uh, I like heavyweight stuff and I like stuff that's got like a little bit of texture. So I've had a few pairs of like Samurais. Uh, I had a pair of PBJs, had a pair of Onis. And um, like, I think the pure blue Japan fabric that I had on that one pair of jeans, I think that was like real prime as far as like texture. But I like that I can get some texture with Samurai and also really like delve into like some heavyweight stuff. Um, so that's kind of, you know, that. But I bought these jeans because um, the fit looked good because I kind of have bigger thighs. And so trying to find jeans that like have enough room in the thigh but also fit in the waist and aren't like stupidly big around the ankles. That's kind of been a challenge. So getting these, <clears throat> I got these in a 35 and they fit pretty good in the waist. So this is the, the slouchy tapered fit. Um, so, you know, there is a slight taper on the knee. The thighs are pretty solid. Um, comparing these to Right now I have the Samurai S5000 VXs. It's like a pretty decently straight cut. I have the, I think those ones are 21 ounces. Those ones, I got those in a 36 and the waist is pretty big and the thighs are still kind of snug and then it's huge around the ankles. So like if the thighs were snug, but it fit everywhere else, I would really like it because I really like that fabric. Like if they fit how these fit, then I'd be pretty cool with it, but they don't. Kind of getting off topic. Well, I guess it's still related, but so these, I do like the fit on them. I think the fit's really solid. Uh, very happy with it. <clears throat> but the reason I got these was uh, Brooklyn Taylors was having a sale so there's like kind of two types of each gene it seems like so or each fit of each you know thing so you've got like the selvage versions and the non-selvage versions more or less and so like retail on the non-selvage ones is give or take 200 retail on the selvage ones is like give or take 300 and so brooklyn taylor's was having a sale and it was i think it must have been like you know, old season inventory or something because they had a bunch of them for just 150. So I pulled the trigger on these and I think that at 150, it's like a pretty good steal because like it's definitely a huge step up from like unbranded in my opinion, you know, like some of the more entry level stuff. Um, <clears throat> you know, you got, you got fancy little Glenn's denim buttons right there pocket bags or you know like this cool green nice little thing you can't see this at all oh a little bit it says glenn's denim it's kind of like suede it's kind of the same green as the patch or as the pockets just a little darker but i think the fits like very unique and it's definitely like a little set apart from like other entry level brands but i think my main problem and this is kind of my problem with a lot of like North American brands. Like I got a pair of 316s and like, I just feel like the fabric is very plain. Um, I got the non selvage version of these, but I wanted the selvage version. I just didn't get it because they didn't have my size, but like I wouldn't pay $300 for this. I don't think just because like, I feel like fit and fabric are probably about 90% of what makes a pair of jeans, you know? The other 10% being like cool patch, cool pocket bags, cool buttons, you know? Like small variations, different color selvage lines. Um, but I feel like these pants like really have the fit down pat that I really want. Um, they're very comfortable, you know, like they, they fit really well. They've kind of got this nice like medium high rise 
So if you want to wear them a little higher than, you know, like your, your uh, waist, you can. If you want to wear them kind of at your waist, you can. I usually, they kind of end up right under my belly button. So like it's not like a full high rise, but it's a little more than just a standard medium rise. And it's pretty comfy. Um, but <clears throat> just like in my mind, because the, you know, the denim is made in the USA and everything. They get it from, I was looking on the website and sourced from some like small mill, you know, because ever since cone mills closed down. But, um, <clears throat> so like that's cool and all, but the fabric just doesn't offer the same cool factor to me as, you know, like other Japanese brands. Because I feel like they're really doing crazy stuff and just the, the texture of that and the variation that you can get and like dyeing and then weaving I just feel like it really adds a lot to the jean uh i've become a real snob for like raised belt loops and these are not raised which yeah, i can't really count as a strike just because i feel like it's such a niche thing but it's nice to have but um i mean overall pretty solid i think getting them on sale was definitely worth it like a hundred percent but like i said if I was going to pay $300 for a pair of jeans, I wouldn't.